as we prepare ourselves to enter in the presence of the Lord, as we prepare ourselves to spend this day with Jesus. Let us ask the Lord to give us the grace so that we too may be sensitive to those around us, that we may be able to have an encounter through the people whom we meet on a regular basis, that we may be able to recognize Jesus in them. And we also pray that our faith may grow and increase so that we too may have a faith like that of the centurion. And as we keep this grace in mind, let us take a comfortable posture. Let us sit down, relax our body, become aware of the various feelings, become aware of the surroundings, the place where you are seated, become aware of the various sounds around you. Also become aware of what you may hear, like the sound of rain, the sound of traffic, the sound of birds chirping, the sound of insects, or the sound of some domestic appliance like the fan running in the background. Become aware of these sounds and identify them because it is only when you identify these sounds that you will be able to focus and give a hundred percent to your conversation with Jesus. These sounds will no longer distract you and you will be able to devote yourself completely to Jesus. And as you spend this time with Jesus, let this be a conversation, a one-on-one -on -one dialogue with Jesus, wherein you also will be able to speak your heart out, where you will be able to share and express your worries and concerns. And at the same time, you will also be able to have an experience of Jesus through the silence. And before we do all this, let us thank the Lord for all that he has done for us. The Lord has been grateful to us in so many ways. He has blessed us abundantly right from the time of our birth till now. And we are also guaranteed that the Lord will help us and be with us all through our lives. Whenever we need him, he is there with us, giving us the grace to deal with the various situations that we may encounter. And therefore, let us thank the Lord first and foremost for the gift of our lives. We see that we have been gifted with a beautiful life. We have been also blessed with various talents. We thank the Lord for all this. We also thank the Lord for the gift of this day. We begin a new week and in this way we see that we will once again begin our usual routine. We ask the Lord to be with us, to accompany us throughout this day so that we too may have an experience of Him through those whom we may meet. We also thank Him for all the good things that He has done for us. We also thank the Lord for guarding us and protecting us all through the night. We thank the Lord for the gift of our relatives, family members, friends, near and dear ones, and all those who play a very important role in our lives. We see there are many individuals who have played an important role in making us who we are. It is because of their effort, it is because of their time that we have been able to develop ourselves and grow in certain areas. Let us thank the Lord for the gift of these people in our lives. And we also pray to the Lord that they may be blessed abundantly. 
We also thank the Lord for all the opportunities that he has given us. Opportunities to use our talents and abilities. Opportunities to make a difference in the lives of others. We also thank him for all the experiences that he has given us. We see that these experiences have helped us to become better individuals. It has helped us to make a difference in our own lives. We have become aware of our shortcomings and thus we have been able to grow in these areas. We have become better individuals and we thank the Lord for all these experiences. We also thank Him for being with us and journeying with us all through our lives. There may have been moments where things would have been tough but still we see that the Lord was there guiding us, protecting us. And even when things seemed lost, where there was no hope, the Lord was there guiding us, walking with us. And as you do this, as we thank the Lord, let us also remember the times where we have not been faithful, where we have gone astray from the Lord. And let us ask pardon from the Lord for all these times, where we have not been faithful, where we have not been able to see Him in our neighbor for all the times wherein we have not been able to hear the cry of those in need for all the times where we have been insensitive to others where we have not cared for them let us ask pardon from the Lord and let us ask the Lord for the grace that we may be able to overcome these shortcomings and as we do this, as we have now become aware of our surrounding areas, let us focus our attention to what is happening within us. Let us become aware of our thoughts, our feelings and emotions. We see that our thoughts may distract us in various ways. It may prevent us from spending quality time with Jesus. And therefore, you need to clear your mind of any thoughts that could possibly distract you. The same goes with your feelings and emotions as well. You may have a variety of emotions and feelings running through your mind. Feelings of anxiety, sorrow, joy, happiness. And therefore, offer all of these to the Lord. Similarly, also feel free to... Tell Jesus all your worries, all your difficulties. Because Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are burdened, and I will give you rest. And therefore feel free to tell Jesus all that you feel, all that you are going through. And also listen to what he has to tell you. And now, let us also put forth our prayers and petitions before the Lord. And let us ask the Lord to bless us and protect us and guide us so that everything that we do, we may be able to radiate his love and mercy to those around us. We also pray for all those who have asked us to pray for them. We ask the Lord to give us the grace so that we may be able to help them. And we also pray for them that they may be blessed in various ways. We also pray for all those who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries today. We ask the Lord to give them good health of mind and body. We also pray for all those who are preparing for their exams, for job interviews or who are working on some important project. We ask the Lord to bless them, bless their efforts so that they too may be able to to have an experience and may be able to reap the rewards of their hard work. And we also pray for all those who are sick, those in hospital, those suffering from various ailments, those undergoing surgeries or intervention. We ask the Lord to give them His healing touch so that they may recover and praise the Lord through their works and deeds. And as we spend this time with Jesus, as we offer this morning offering and the morning prayer. Let us pray for the gift of sensitivity that we may be able 
to show care and concern to those around us let us pray in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen o jesus through the immaculate heart of mary i offer you my prayers works joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins for the intentions of all my relatives and friends and in particular for the intentions of the holy father amen let us pray for the intention of the pope for the month of september abolition of the death penalty we pray that the death penalty which attacks the dignity of the human person may be legally abolished in every country our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen the act of contrition oh my god i am heartily sorry for having offended thee and i detest all my sins because of thy just punishments but most of all because they offend thee my god who art all good and deserving of all my love i firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin amen prayer to the holy spirit come holy spirit fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you will renew the face of the earth lord by the light of the holy spirit you have taught the hearts of your faithful in the same spirit help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation we ask this through christ our lord amen prayer for priests gracious and loving god we thank you for the gift of our priests through them we experience your presence in the sacraments help our priests to be strong in their vocation set their souls on fire with love for your people grant them the wisdom understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of jesus inspire them 
with the vision of your kingdom give them the words they need to spread the gospel allow them to experience joy in their ministry help them to become instruments of your divine grace we ask this through jesus christ who lives and reigns as our eternal priest amen the breastplate of saint patrick i arise today through a mighty strength the invocation of the trinity through a belief in the threeness through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation christ with me christ before me christ behind me christ in me christ beneath me christ above me christ on my right christ on my left christ when i lie down christ when i sit down christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me christ in the eye that sees me christ in the ear that hears me amen the angelus the angel of the lord declared to mary and she conceived of the holy spirit hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen behold the handmaid of the lord be it done to me according to thy word hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray pour forth we beseech thee o lord thy grace into our hearts that we to whom the incarnation of christ thy son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same christ our lord amen prayer for saint joseph's protection o saint joseph whose protection is so great so prompt so strong before the throne of god i place in you all my interests and desires o saint joseph do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine son all spiritual blessings through jesus christ our lord so that having engaged here below your heavenly power i may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers o saint joseph 
I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. Prayer of Thanksgiving God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life. We thank you for the mystery of creation, for the beauty that the eye can see, for the joy that the ear may hear, for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder, for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves. We thank you for setting us in communities, for families who nurture our becoming, for friends who love us by choice, for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks, for strangers who welcome us into their midst, for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding, for children who lighten our moments with delight, for the unborn who offer us hope for the future. We thank you for this day, for life, and one more day to love, for opportunity, and one more day to work for justice and peace, for neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved, for your grace and one more experience of your presence, for your promise to be with us, to be our God and to give salvation. For these and all blessings, we give you thanks, eternal loving God. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Prayer to the Garden Angel Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, rule and guide. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Litany to Mary, the Loreto Litany Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Saviour, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our Joy, pray for us. Spiritual Vessel, pray for us. Vessel of Honor, pray for us. Singular Vessel of Devotion, pray for us. Mystical Rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of Ivory, pray for us. House of Gold, pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Health of the Sick, pray for us. Refuge of Sinners, pray for us. Solace of Migrants, pray for us. Comfort of the Afflicted, pray for us. For us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of Angels, 
pray for us queen of patriarchs pray for us queen of prophets pray for us queen of apostles pray for us queen of martyrs pray for us queen of confessors pray for us queen of virgins pray for us queen of all saints pray for us queen conceived without original sin pray for us queen assumed into heaven pray for us queen of the most holy rosary pray for us queen of families pray for us queen of peace pray for us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world spare us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world graciously hear us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray grant we beseech thee o lord god that we your servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the blessed mary ever virgin may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through christ our lord amen pray to saint michael the archangel for protection saint michael the archangel defend us in battle be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly hosts by the power of god thrust into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen act of adoration o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine saint gertrude pray for souls in purgatory eternal father i offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen may the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen my dear friends the readings of today will focus on two major issues the first will basically be that with regards to faith and the second issue that we have today is is something that we generally face in today's world that is with regards to individuality we see that in today's fast changing and competitive world we tend to focus only on ourselves and therefore we tend to reduce our circle only to ourselves 
Therefore, St. Paul in today's first reading will urge the people that they need to show a bit more concern and a bit more sensitivity towards others in the community. And therefore, we see that in those times, they would all gather around for the meal. But here, each one was doing what each one wanted and as a result, the whole spirit of it was being lost. But St. Paul quotes the last words of Jesus at the Last Supper in order to tell the people that they need to be focused and attentive to the needs of others. And thus, they need to include everyone so that it becomes indeed a community of joy and peace. In today's Gospel, we have the faith of the centurion. Now we see that what made today's gospel very inspirational is that the centurion was not a Jew. Now in those times of Jesus, we see that there were many Jews who did not recognize Jesus or who did not accept Jesus. And here these were the people who in spite of having the laws, in spite of having the prophets tell them various things, still could not recognize Jesus. But here we have the example of the centurion who being a non-Jew was able to place his faith in Jesus. Similarly in today's world we have the Old Testament, New Testament and so many other means in order to know the word of God and also to spend time with Jesus. But still sometimes we may not have a faith as strong as that of the centurion. And therefore today we pray to the Lord and ask him to give us that grace that we may have a faith as good as a centurion. Similarly, let us also remember another issue. We see that the centurion had care and concern for a slave. He could have easily said, if something happens to the slave, I can get another one. But no, he valued the slave and probably this is something that caught the attention of Jesus. And because of this, we see that he was able to request Jesus to heal the, cent the centurion's slave. And here another important aspect, what is seen is the humility of the centurion. He knew that he was a person, though of great stature, though of high position, but still he had some weaknesses and he felt unworthy to have Jesus under his roof. And this is exactly one of the first steps towards reconciliation and transformation, accepting our faults and knowing our unworthiness. And we see that all this contributes to a transformative and healing process. Similarly, as we reflect on today's readings, as we prepare to have Jesus in our lives, let us pray for the grace that we too, like the centurion, may have a faith in Jesus, that we too may be able to recognize our own shortcomings and accept ourselves who we are, and that we may be sensitive to the needs of those around us. Amen.